Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing day. Honored to be connecting in with you. Today, we're going to be talking about our strengths, our passion. How are we bringing all these together in such a way that we are able to live on purpose and with purpose? We are empowered to do so. We're going to explore the importance of knowing our strengths. What are they? How do we find that out? How do we harness our passion and really make a positive difference in the world? I think it's important for us to periodically pause and check in and just see, are the things that we're doing, the choices we're making, the way we're choosing to spend our time and our energy Is that really in alignment with what matters most to us? It's so easy for the days to take on a life of their own, that to-do list, and then before you know it, another week's gone by, another month's gone by, and oh my goodness, another year. And it's important that we are able to harness that time, that energy, to be in alignment with who we are, what we're bringing to the world, the difference we're wanting to make. Our two guests we have joining us together today are people that I feel like are really living in alignment with their gifts. They are looking to make a positive difference in the world. They are helping people tap into that for themselves. They're looking to create that that positive imprint and in doing so help others do the same. So I know we're in for a great conversation today. Excited to have each and every one of you joining us. And in order for us to connect, to really be present in the conversation, because here's a tip, (laughs) that's how you get the most out of our time, is choosing to be fully present. Not multitasking, (laughs) but really fully present. To be able to hear, receive, and integrate all that is going to be shared today that will speak to your spirit, that will speak to your soul, that will speak to how you are made and what you are looking to do in the world because you matter. You're a gift. There's no one else just like you. And the biggest gift you can give the world is really bringing forward more of who you are and how you are. And part of doing that being on purpose is finding that alignment for yourself. So let's practice it today as we take a breath and we take that step as we breathe in to mindfully, purposely, and you can breathe out, choosing to be present, open to receive all that will serve, releasing, breathing out, what no longer does as you think it, and release it. In doing so, you're bringing oxygen to every cell in the body. You're creating more energy and room and space. That movement helps you have expansion. And the breathing also helps you become present and aware and notice how you're feeling. Notice something around you. Like I'm noticing how green and a variety of different shades of green from the new growth on the trees to the more aged growth. I'm just taking a moment to notice that. And I'm so busy sometimes I don't stop and notice what is right around me. So taking a moment to notice and connect. And then I'm going to ask you to close your eyes as you're noticing. Tap into how you're feeling as you breathe. You're absolutely safe. Put both hands on your heart. And just notice that heartbeat. And as you do, take a moment to see with curiosity, dear heart, what message do you have for me today? What message does your heart, each beat and in between the beats, what is it telling you today or reminding you or asking you for? What is it that... You need today 
to empower and support you on your journey, heartbeat by heartbeat. What do you need today? That you are willing to receive because you absolutely have choice. So what is it that you need? What is your heart telling you? And what are you willing to receive? Beautiful. Take that information in. Another big, beautiful breath. Open up your eyes and become fully present. And take a moment and write down what was laid on your heart as you took a moment to pause, breathe, and listen. Let's write it down so we can capture it. We can keep it top of mind. So easy to get distracted by the noise and shiny objects. So it's mindfully, purposely. Connect with it and keep it top of mind through our conversation today. With that, I'm going to go around our virtual room and just see when we took that moment to stop, pause, and listen, what was laid on our guest's heart. With that, Nermeen, I would love for you to share what was laid on your heart. Oh, Rebecca, the uh, just the invitation to truly pause, to slow down, and mm-hmm. and uh, in, in between things, mm-hmm. and and when I do that, I open the door for uh, everything will flow. There's ease and flow when when I allow myself to slow down and breathe. That was beautiful. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And I love that. When we slow down, it creates room and ease and flow. How beautiful is that? Thank you for sharing. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you. Love that. Absolutely. And Terry, how about you? What was laid on your heart? Well, normally I don't slow down. I'm just (laughs) (laughs) high up. But uh, it is, you know, it's nice to be a little introspective in in thinking about uh, just, you know, where I am and what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, it's very fulfilling that way. Mm. I love that. Well, thank you for sharing. I think that's so interesting because you are a writer <laughs> and observer of so much. So that's interesting to me <laughs> that um, it's not always slowing down. So thank you for slowing down with us today. I love that. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Well, we are getting ready to go to our first commercial break. And as we do that, listeners, I want to encourage you to stay present. Resist that urge to go do things on the to-do list. Really give yourself this time to be present, to be introspective, to allow yourself to hear that prompting on your heart, to allow yourself to feel and step into that ease and flow during these two minutes and we'll continue our conversation shortly enjoy follow voice america at facebook.com forward slash voice america for juicy updates from your favorite radio shows and podcasts Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Voice America programs are now available on your favorite connected device, including Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home. Through streams with Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio, listening to your favorite show is as easy as saying the show name followed by the word podcast. Hey, Alexa, play Finding Your Frequency podcast. If that doesn't work, try adding on TuneIn or on iHeartRadio or on Apple Podcasts. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. 
It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes and practiced being still being present, allowing, letting things flow, and feeling, noticing how good it feels to actually be still (laughs) and not have to do things, but to just allow. I'm excited to have you continuing the conversation with us. I encourage you to keep that paper in front of you where you wrote down what was laid on your heart, and let's see how we can support and add to what you have there. As we continue our conversation, both the interview portions as well as those pauses in between where you're given an opportunity to integrate. So have that paper and pen ready. It'll help you get the most out of our time together today. And I'm excited to introduce our first guest to you. Sir Nermeen Zachary is a certified QIT coach and positive intelligence coach specializing in the application of strengths to accelerate performance, energy, relationships, and results. She has over 15 years experience in the training industry, a master's in education, and is passionate about helping you discover and step into your powerful strengths. Lean in, warmly welcome the dynamic, powerful, insightful Nermeen Zachary to the show. Welcome. (laughs) Oh, thank you so much, Rebecca. You are very, very welcome. (laughs) I'm thrilled to have you joining us. And I'd love for you to share a little bit about this work. Why is this work of helping people in this way, why is that personally so important to you? Uh, Well, so I was, I remember when I was, when I was first introduced to the, to the Clifton Strengths Assessment and uncovered my, my strengths. That was a little (laughs) over 11 years ago now. Uh, I began. I began to see how they contributed to my growth, uh, my accomplishments, and I also saw how they got in my way. Mm. On, on, you know, on, on that day, I, um, you know, I started to understand so much about my past, and what what changed for me is I stopped coming down so hard on myself, and I started to appreciate my gifts to own them versus wishing I could be like someone else. And, uh, and that's kind of when I knew I was onto something. And that's, that's when I came into coaching because I want others to experience that same shift up and to, um, to own their gifts, to stop trying to be like someone else and really uh, own their value. That's what I'm passionate mm-hmm. about, helping people um, see their unique gifts and, and own them. I love that. And what a powerful shift to be able to stop wishing you were like someone else or trying to Mm. be that way and really owning your gifts and being able to appreciate them, be less, you know, hard on ourselves and, and be able to really stand powerfully. And I also thought that was interesting how you realized how you were maybe holding yourself back with them too. So I'd love for you to share a little bit about how, I guess why it's so important we discover these gifts and how do we, these strengths, how do we come to terms with them maybe being a little different than we thought they were? Well, we'll see our, um, our strengths, they, they inform, they inform how we contribute to the Mm -hmm. world Mm -hmm. and they also inform what we need in order to show up at our Mm. best. And and learning about this was was truly eye opening for me. And uh, so, having a language around around strengths and being able to uh, 
kind of lean into and, and, and recognize where when I'm contributing, where I'm finding fulfillment and, and energy and, and performing at my best. And, and then being able to understand that, you know, there are things that I need uh, in, order, in order to do that. Mm-hmm. So when I, you know, most of the time when things aren't quite going our way, I'm, I get frustrated and I don't know why I'm frustrated. I'm just mad. <laughs> mad at the world. And <laughs> this isn't and, right. <laughs> and now, <laughs> right. And and now I have I have a language around it. I have I, I can identify that, you know, oh my strength, you know, my adaptability needs this or my empathy needs that. And uh, and then when I when I can identify it, then I have something to work with. Now mm-hmm. I have something I can go ask for. And figure out how to get get it met so that I can be at my best and contribute fully, and uh, and and feel great about my, you know, what I'm doing and how I'm serving. I, I love that. I think we really have difficulty seeing ourselves, and mm-hmm. we don't know how we're the same or different. We don't always know what our strengths are. We don't know why, like you were saying, why am I so frustrated? <laughs> you know, and <laughs> and and what. A gift that is to be able to know how we start and stop, what can help support us in really shining in our strengths. It sounds like a very empowering um, and powerful experience. How have you found that doing this for yourself, and I know that you help so many people do this and discover this, how does that help them be able to really live on purpose and in an empowered way? It's it's recognizing, uh, it's becoming aware of of your gifts and 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 kind of kind of reflecting back on past successes and seeing seeing how how your talents and your strengths really served you in those moments and you know kind of really enjoying that that mm. moment and mm-hmm. and then taking it and then applying it forward. Applying it forward, how can I see how that they served me here? How can I replicate that experience and uh, do it again, do it again and again, and find ways? The more and the more aware I become, the more I I become uh, in tune with the potential opportunities, and the more I'm willing to raise my hand and say, "Hey, I'd I'd love to contribute here." Uh, so it starts by really, it's just it, it's reflecting. And mm. noticing where we're, um, it, how we're using them, the, the you know, the, the the things that light us up, the when we're, we're losing all track of time, when we're uh, learning comes easy, uh, when we perform at you know those glimpses of excellence, really reveling in them, and uh, and then seeking opportunities to uh, to repeat. Hmm, nice. And it sounds like a very positive, um, expansive experience um, as as you're sharing that. And I'm listening to, to the language that you're using and the pictures I'm starting to form in my mind. It seems like it would feel really good to know strengths and to be able to play that way, so to speak, in the world where you can really contribute your best, you can perform at your best, and you can you know, trust yourself and be able to give yourself mm-hmm. what you need um, to be able to navigate in that way. How how does this tie into living an optimal life? What is optimal living? And how do these things tie together? Uh, optimal living is, is when we're experiencing both high energy and high performance. So we can we can all relate to moments when we might be at low low energy low performance. It's probably an area that I'm not necessarily you know very talented in, and not an, it, not a place that we want to spend a lot of time. We call that our depletion zone. Our optimal zone is uh, is high energy and high performance because sometimes we can be at high energy and low performance. Mm-hmm. Meaning that, uh, <laughs> you know, oh, something you enjoy doing, but maybe not necessarily perform well in, and oh, no, here comes Nermeen again, uh, mm-hmm. wanting to do this thing. 
<laughs> so leaving a trail of dead bodies is not necessarily a sign of strength, right? Mm-hmm. Or, or I might be, high, you know, I might perform very well, and uh, but I, I don't have any energy around it. Uh, it's something that depletes me, and uh, not something uh, I necessarily enjoy. So we're always looking for. You pay attention. Where am I experiencing high energy? I'm excited, uh, feeling fulfilled, and I'm performing well. And people are noticing. And uh, I, I feel great about uh, how I'm showing up and how I'm contributing. Uh, that's that's where the optimal living is. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. And then it's. I think it sounds like it's important to notice the other two, <laughs> so that we're aware as as we're navigating and trying to stay more in the optimal living zone than than the Absolutely. other. Oh, I I, I love Absolutely. that. Now, I'm curious in your in your working with people, have people been surprised at what they discover their strengths are? Have you ever found? I know for myself, I was surprised at some of the things that I discovered were strengths because, to me, I kind of thought that's just how everybody was. I didn't know that that was a a strength that that was a way that I could navigate in the world. So I'm curious what your experience has been with that. Oh. It, <laughs> You know, a lot, a lot of people, you know, say, okay, I get it. That's definitely me. And others are definitely surprised by by at least, you know, one or two of them. And then we, we do some digging and we find that, you know, that it's that, that one particular talent is the, uh, th- that's kind of the backbone. It's always on, always, always there. And it's it's kind of hard to see because mm-hmm. our talents and our strengths are so innate to us. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. can't we can't see them. We well, exactly as you just shared. We we do, we think it's something everyone can do. It's nothing nothing special, mm-hmm. and uh, only to realize that it's it is something indeed that um, that is kind of unique to me. And oh, that's kind of cool. And well, how how can I do more of this to really serve in a meaningful way? Mm, I love it. I love it. So I'm curious, what would be if, if someone is, is leaning into this and um, I I want to know, I don't know what some of my strengths are. This sounds and it, I think will feel really good to discover and know what's a step, a first step somebody could take to start to explore their strengths and dig into things a little bit. And so, so some of the things I shared a little earlier, like just mm-hmm. noticing you know where you lose. You know you you find yourself uh, learning quickly and easily, uh, where you lose all track of time, um, where you feel really content after completing something. So start paying attention to those things. Uh, again, the high energy and high performance. Pay attention to those, and I, I I highly encourage folks to who are curious to to complete the Clifton Strengths Assessment. And because it gives us a common language and words that we can we can relate to and things that we can identify in our lives. Wonderful. So that would be a first step. Well, and that, and that sounds very doable. So I hope that people have their paper and their pens out because that's a great <laughs> way to notice and write things down. Uh-huh. And I know that you're going to share all your details and contact information a little bit later on the show. But do you mind sharing where we can go if we are inspired and want to take that assessment? What's the best way to find it? Sure. It's, uh, the website is gallopstrengthcenter.com. And look for the Clifton Strengths Assessment. Okay, perfect. Do you mind repeating it one more time? Sure. Gallup, G A L L U P, strengthscenter.com. Perfect. And then look for the Clifton's. Is that correct? Strength? Clifton, Clifton Strengths. Okay, perfect. I don't want anyone to miss out. <laughs> so mm-hmm. appreciate you sharing that. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's a great place to start and really um, notice some of these things so that we can live in that optimal space. I would love to be in that that high performance where my energy feels great and I feel on purpose more and more versus in that space where things drain me. So I, I love that tip. Uh, we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break. Do you have a final thought you'd like to share with our listeners for them to perhaps reflect on during our commercial break? Oh, 
Uh, you have something. There's. Um, let me leave this with you. That that each of you can do one thing better than ten thousand other people. So the invitation is to go find that one thing, mm. and 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 live it. Do it. We need you. We need your unique gift. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I so appreciate it. Listeners. Thank you for absolutely. Listeners, we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break. And what a perfect time to reflect on what Nermeen has shared. And isn't that inspiring and exciting to know you can do that one thing better than 10,000 others and how much the world needs you to do that thing <laughs> and to be that and to bring that forward. So enjoy these two minutes, really reflect and breathe in deeply all that serves, and we'll continue our conversation in just two minutes. A little birdie told me Voice America is on Twitter. Follow us at Voice America TRN. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Voice America programs are now available on your favorite connected device, including Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home. Through streams with Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio, listening to your favorite show is as easy as saying the show name followed by the word podcast. Hey, Alexa, play Finding Your Frequency podcast. If that doesn't work, try adding on TuneIn or on iHeartRadio or on Apple Podcasts. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes and explored leaning into that one thing that you can do and be and bring forward. Perhaps included on that list of strengths, on that list of things you feel a quickening of your spirit, if you feel a calling towards speaking or sharing your message or sharing important information is something that has bubbled up. And so I wanted to let you know a way that you can bring that forward. We have a program called the Speaker Talent Search. You can learn more about it at speakertalentsearch.com. And this is part of our give back. And it's a way that we find the amazing talent that we get to bring forward on the show, as well as help speakers and experts get on other platforms and shows to share their message. So if you're feeling that prompting, that pull that you want to reach more people, I really encourage you to check out speakertalentsearch.com. There is a deadline coming up the end of this month, the end of June, and this will be the last one of the year. So if you feel that pull, I encourage you to check it out, speakertalentsearch.com. We'd love to hear from you. And I'm excited 
to introduce our next guest. Now, he has been on the show before. We've had him on a couple different shows. I know that you will love his energy and his enthusiasm and insight on how you can really capture and bring forward those things that matter most to you. I'm excited to introduce Terry Wilson to you. He is a number one international best-selling author of Miracle Namara. He's been a writer for most of his life, and he's spent the last 36 years as a Rotarian. He's been very involved in a number of their service projects all over the world, and he's really passionate about making a positive difference in the world, paying attention to what is that legacy we're creating today? What is that legacy we're leaving behind? What is the imprint? He's done a lot of amazing work, including powerfully supporting work in Kenya with the Maasai, um, their culture, their people, and what they are doing for the Maasai, which is amazing. This has led to him writing his book that was recently published, Miracle Namara, and it was released and became a number one international best-selling book. And he also has a travel journal as well that goes along nicely with that. And he is passionate about helping you to make that difference you're called to be and finding a way to capture it, share it, and bring it forward. So lean in, warmly welcome the powerful, dynamic, and impactful Terry P. Wilson to the show. Welcome. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Hi, Terry. I'm excited to have you joining us today. Welcome back. And I'd love for you to start our conversation with talking a little bit about what is being a Rotarian? What is the Rotary Club for people that that's new to? Well, Rotary is service above self, and what we do, uh, we're an international organization of 1.2 million members in 36,000 clubs in over almost 200 countries. And so what we do is we raise money and we uh, apply it to those who need it most. Uh, And so my involvement in the book writing was a water project in Kenya. Mm-hmm. And this is where I met the protagonist in my book. And uh, I've made two following trips back to the Mara to get the full story. And um, I'm just amazed at what they've accomplished. I really, I really am. You know, I kind of saw the, the literally the scratching in the dirt of the game plan. And then to see it completed is, is remarkable. Beautiful. And a lot of the work was done um, during the pandemic, right, that they were able to bring so much forward. So do you mind sharing just a little bit about um, this and and your book so people who want the full story (laughs) can dig in and and, uh, learn more as well? Yeah. So I went there first in uh, July of 2019 Mm -hmm. to install a water purification system in the Maasai Mara in Kenya. And uh, we were going to go back the following year to, uh, to install another water system in Uganda, but we were delayed a year because of COVID. But it was at that time that the uh, prince, my protagonist in the book, he realized that, you know, when the world shut down, he would be able to house and feed the local population in trade for construction. So the year that the world was not doing anything, they were busy putting together the Mara Napa camps. Mm -hmm. And when I went back in September of uh, 2021, I was just blown away at what was, what what was completed. I mean, it's Mm -hmm. just remarkable that, um, you know, they're, the, I, I guess the thing that really strikes me most is that the people that are involved in this are in their late 20s and, and early 30s. Mm-hmm. And so they've got such a great head start on re, revitalizing the Maasai culture and, you know, sharing the animals uh, that are in the Mara and, you know, 
leading to the Serengeti in Tanzania. And so this, this constant cycle of animals and people uh, harmoniously living together is just incredible. Mm. I'm just so happy that I was, you know, first brought over there on a water project and ended up writing a book, a labor of love for me. In fact, I tell my readers, if, uh, if you enjoy reading the book as much as I enjoyed writing it, it's a win-win. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And just to, to give a feel for people that this is new, um, they're not familiar with how many animals pass through in the variety. Do you mind just sharing a few stats there so people have a little bit of a feel of the type of wildlife that, that passes through that is living harmoniously there with the, the people in the population? Sure. So the, the Mara itself is in southwestern Kenya. It's about half the size of Rhode Island or about 560 square miles. And uh, the variety of animals coming through there is all you can imagine, and then some. And there's up to about 2 million that, that come through there. They have a 600-mile cycle that they travel through the Mara down into Tanzania and the Serengeti, and then they loop back around and they follow the food. Mm. Some of them eating the grass and then others eating the animals who feed on the grass. It's a real <laughs> cycle of life. Yeah, yeah, on, on the cycle, on that path. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for just giving us a little bit of a, a picture and visual of um, how much life um, passes through that area and that space and what a huge accomplishment it is that has been created. And one of the things I love about your book is you get to hear some of the journey, meet some of the people that are involved in bringing this forward. And then you have these beautiful pictures because the pictures can be worth a thousand words. <laughs> and I love yeah. the pictures you were able to pull together. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's interesting. After I went on the second trip in, um, September of 2021, and we did the installation in Uganda, and then we went back to the Mara, and I was sitting down at the dinner table with Prince and his wife, and he said a couple of times that, you know, everybody has said, you got to write this story, you got to write this story, but he said, I can't even write a paragraph, and so about, I got home, and about three weeks later, I sat up in the middle of the night, and I go, well, I'll write the book. I've been writing my whole life, and this is something that really interests me. So I went back in March of 2022, and I was the only guest there. So I had free access to everybody. Mm. And so that's what the book, I originally had about three or four or five chapters, and it ended up with about 26 chapters because... I had so many different little tangents that uh, tied into the whole Kenya experience. I mean, I just, it's, it's like I say, it's a lot of fun to read because it's so varied. It's not droning down, oh, the Maasai, the Maasai, the Maasai. It just gives you a, a colorful look at all the different things that life how life exists in the Mara. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, I love it. I love it. And then on top of that, so I know this was shared out in the world, became a number one international best-selling book, and you have a companion journal that you've created yeah. and brought forward as well, or a, a travel journal. Do you mind sharing a little bit of that? Because there may be people out there that, well, I've been writing or I like writing um, and I like traveling. It could be such a great tool for them to be aware of. So what is this travel journal about? Well, the travel journal, I mean, I always keep a journal uh, when I travel just to write things down that I want to remember or uh, something to write about in the future. So uh, for all those who, you know, can't really jumpstart their plan. Writing a journal is, is just an awesome way of having notes and giving you additional ideas and, and just targeting it. Because when I first went to Africa, to Kenya, 
I had no idea that I was going to write this book. Mm-hmm. In fact, I don't even know whether the book chose me or I chose the book. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it evolved. And, and so I look back on my notes from the first two visits and I thought, well, this is a really good start uh, because I had gained so much knowledge by writing down these experiences, uh, you know, and I always date things so I know when these things took place. And, um, yeah, it, it just, it, you, you can't just sit down off the top of your head and start writing, I don't think. I mean, you have an idea, you get a topic sentence, and from there you can expand. But if you don't have a starting point or a focus, uh, I don't like the uh, chances of it being what you really want. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Oh, I, I love that. And I know that in the journal, you give some great direction and ideas and resources to help writers out there, not only on the trip and enjoy the trip, but also capture some of that in a way that they can enjoy and share and possibly turn into a book as well. Um, so thank you so much for, for sharing, Terry. I love what you've brought to the world. And I'd love for you to share a tip or a piece of advice you have for our listeners, either around their service, their their influence, their impact that they're making in the world. Do you have a tip or a piece of advice around that or the legacy they're creating for them to consider today? Well, uh, first of all, you can join Rotary because it's a great organization and we do stuff internationally and locally which is different than a lot of service clubs. So not only do I go to foreign countries and do work, but right in San Carlos in California where I live, uh, we have a number of projects that we do either individually or collectively with other clubs in the district. So, uh, I mean, if your goal is to really give back to mankind what mankind has given to you, a uh, rotary is a great way to do that. Uh, if you're not a kind of a club member type person, uh, volunteering is, is such a great thing. It's, you know, I get more out of volunteering than I think that the recipients really get. And that's, I guess, sort of a selfish thought, but it just feels so good when you're helping other people that really need your help. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you, Terry. I appreciate it. I know when we come back from our next commercial break, you're going to share your contact information where we can get your powerful book. But I love this uh, reminder that we can join a club. We can lean in and make a difference and give back in a way that uh, really has an impact that we can choose to do that. So I appreciate it, Terry. Listeners, As we get ready to go to our next commercial break, I encourage you to think about some of what Terry has said and shared. And I love how he was open to being prompted to step in and bring that story forward and share it with the world. I love that, that being open. So I'm curious as we go to this commercial break, listeners, what's prompting you? What are you kind of feeling that, oh, I could I could do this. I could step in and play to that strength. That excites me. What is a way you could step in and really bring something forward that matters to you? We'll continue our conversation in just two minutes. Voice America is on your favorite smart speaker. If you have Alexa or Google Home, go ahead and give us a try. Hey, Alexa. Play Finding Your Frequency podcast on TuneIn. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. 
You need to live up to your full potential. You've heard that for years, but now there's a channel to help you get there. Introducing the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Our listeners have told us that they want to be motivated, hear about success stories, and positive encouragement around the clock. And we've responded to you. The Voice America Empowerment Channel is the home of the world's top life coaches, entrepreneurs, and success experts. Listen to the Voice America Empowerment Channel. It's here at VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes and really felt that prompting and pull, something that's calling to you that you realize, you know, I could do that. Sometimes we see something others don't see. We call that a visionary. (laughs) We see things. We see a gap. We see a need that needs to be met. And we look for someone to do that, someone to fill that gap. Someone needs to do something about that. Someone needs to bring that forward. And we sometimes forget to look in the mirror (laughs) because perhaps the reason that we're seeing that, the reason we have a vision of how it could be is because we get to be part of bringing that forward. So I invite you at the end of today's show, take a few minutes. Don't rush, just rush back into the day. Take a couple moments for you and really see what's speaking to your heart. Really see what action, what next step you can take. And baby steps count. They all add up. What's a step you can take to be and bring forward those things that matter most to you? Be willing to say yes to that thing that pulls at you, knowing it matters and you do make a difference. We're going to go around our virtual room here, and I'm going to have each of our guests share their contact information. And this is done very purposefully, because if you felt a pull towards one of our guests, I want you to be able to go deeper, connect in, tap into them, tap into their resources. So have that paper and pen ready. And with that, Nermeen, I would love for you to share. How can we connect with you? What's the best way to go deeper? And do you have any words of wisdom for us as we get ready to go back into the world? (laughs) I so appreciate it, Rebecca. The best way to connect with me is via email. Mm -hmm. And my email address is nermeen at strengths-edge.com. And I will spell that for you. N e r m i n at strengths-edge.com. Perfect. And then if we email to you, we can just put our questions or what we're wanting to know more about, and you'll take it from there? Absolutely. Beautiful. Great. And then do you mind giving us that website one more time if we missed it earlier? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, the, the Gallup strength? Yeah, yeah, as well as the, yours. Yeah, course. we'd love both. <laughs> yep, yep, of course. So uh, actually all of the information about Gallup strengths is also on my website. Mm-hmm. So I'll start with that. Uh, my website is strengths-edge.com and then uh, forward slash strengths finder uh, is where you'll find all the information about the, the strengths assessment that we spoke Perfect. about today. Oh, that's perfect and easy. I like that. <laughs> so can you give us the site <laughs> one more time? <laughs> of course, mm-hmm. of course. Strength, Strengths-edge.com forward slash strengths finder. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. And then do you have any uh, piece of advice or something for us to carry with us as we go back into the day? Sure. 
I was just reflecting on, on one of my favorite uh, client experiences. Uh, I was working with a client ready, preparing for interviews and really trying to um, bring her strengths into the, the conversations. And one of the things we uncovered was uh, when all of her top strengths were at play in previous ex- job experiences, that's where she found the most fulfillment. Mm. And that was such an aha moment for, for her and for both of us as, as she just really sat in that. So I invite you, I invite listeners to really think about your, your past successes where you found the most fulfillment and uh, what, what strengths got to play and mm. uh, where can you seek more of that? Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for joining us today. And I love Thank that exercise. So <laughs> oh, my, my pleasure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> and Terry, what is the best way for us to connect in? Where can we get your books and any words of wisdom? Okay. Well, first of all, uh, the book is on sale through Amazon and I recommend the uh paperback because all of the proceeds, the net proceeds are going to the Mara Napa Foundation and that paperback has the best benefit for them. Uh, I can be reached at TW98 at Comcast.net and that's Tango Dog Umbrella Boy 98 at Comcast.net. Um, Yeah, I just uh, think that what they're doing there is incredible, and the resources that they uh, are generating are going to the Education and Resource Center to kind of renew the Maasai heritage to the world while also being able to go on safari and stay in a luxurious tent. so it's quite an experience. Uh, you know, I gave a presentation yesterday, and I asked people if they had Africa on their bucket list. And, of course, most people do, but they don't go there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this presentation uh, that I give is a video presentation that um, they can share and see all of the above. and. The hope is after they see it, they say, well, you know, video is fine, but I want to see it live. So (laughs) go to the Mara Napa camp. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that. I know they can find your journal and your book on Amazon. And I love that reminder that where all the proceeds go from the print book um, of Miracle Namara that they can lean into. And I love this piece of advice that if you have Africa on the bucket list, here you go. (laughs) Here's a way to take that action and a step into making that trip. And this book would be a great step as well on that journey to get a feel and perhaps even develop that hunger to want to go in person. Uh, Thank you so much for sharing, Terry. I appreciate it. Okay. And listeners, thank you for leaning in, for joining us today. I hope that you have a page with some great notes, some great action items that you're going to be able to take. And I invite you to take a moment, a pause at the end of our time together and really give yourself time to integrate. I have found the secret to moving forward faster, to accomplishing more so that my steps are more effective. And then I can take fewer because they're more effective is when I mindfully purposely pause and choose my next step from that place versus just moving and keeping going and hoping the activities add up into the right direction. So I encourage you take that pause. That's my word of advice today, a word of wisdom to support you on your journey. Remember that you are a gift with unique talents and abilities and strengths we've talked about today and the biggest gift you can give the world is more of you so be willing to share the amazing gift of who you are be willing to bloom where you are planted and shine have a great week everyone and we'll talk to you next time
Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel, with a replay on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern and 1 p.m. Pacific on the Voice America Variety Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.